It began quietly, almost too quietly for an announcement of this magnitude. No alarms, no press release, no emergency briefing, just a single message from Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, published like a final entry in the diary of someone who has seen too much. And in that short text, in that calm voice he always uses when he's about to change the conversation forever, he delivered what he called his final warning about 3i Atlas, the third interstellar object ever discovered, and perhaps the most unpredictable visitor humanity has ever tracked. For months, astronomers around the world argued, debated, dismissed, and ridiculed the anomalies surrounding this strange object. Its change in color, its unexplained acceleration, its enormous jets of gas, its puzzling anticola stretching nearly three million kilometers, and its bizarre mass loss rate that made no sense for an object of its size. But Loeb was watching the numbers shift in ways no natural comet should behave. And now, with new calculations, updated models, and the latest images from Chinese orbiters and Earth-based telescopes, he has said what no scientist wanted to hear, that the physics doesn't add up, that the energy required is impossible for a single intact object, that the observed jets cannot be produced by the body we see, and that if 3i Atlas does not appear as a cloud of fragments on December 19, 2025, then the only remaining explanation is that we are not looking at a natural comet. This is the moment when the scientific world split into two. Those who fear Loeb is right, and those who fear what it would mean if he is tonight, we dive deep into the calculations, the controversy, the backlash, the ten anomalies, and the final warning issued by the most outspoken astrophysicist of our time. This is the story of the object that may force humanity to confront a truth we are not ready for. From the moment it was discovered on July 1st, 3i Atlas refused to behave like the comet's astronomers have spent their lives studying. It came from nowhere, arriving from interstellar space, slipping into our solar system on a path that didn't match any known gravitational lineage. At first, observers saw what they expected, a dust coma forming, jets of CO2 erupting, a shape that looked relatively stable. But then came the behavior that no one could explain, as it approached the sun, instead of simply warming and shedding ice like a normal comet, its mass loss skyrocketed to levels never recorded before, producing a massive anticola stretching nearly three million kilometers. To put that into perspective, that's longer than the distance between Earth and the moon. The Chinese Tianwen-1 orbiter captured images revealing enormous jets blasting from the object. But strangely, even with such violent eruptions, there was no confirmed fragmentation. The nucleus appeared intact, unbroken, whole. Meanwhile, other instruments recorded a color change, a velocity increase, and a non-gravitational acceleration. Three traits that, individually, would already raise eyebrows. But together? Together, they formed a pattern that scientists had only ever seen in one place before. Oumuamua, the first interstellar object, whose acceleration is still unexplained to this day by late October, the scientific community was buzzing. Something was not right. Something was not natural. And everyone knew it. Even those too cautious to admit it. But then Loeb ran the numbers. And things went from strange to impossible. Avi Loeb is not a man who jumps to conclusions. For years, he defended the natural origin of Borisov, the second interstellar object. He is not a sensationalist, nor a conspiracy theorist, nor a scientist hungry for headlines. He is, in fact, one of the most decorated astrophysicists on Earth. A Harvard professor with more than 1,000 peer-reviewed papers, nine books, and decades of leadership in astronomy. So when he sat down to compute the physics of the three I Atlas jets, he did what scientists do. He calculated the required energy, and what he found was disturbing. The jets were so powerful, so violent, so sustained, that to produce them naturally, 3i Atlas would need to expose 1,600 square kilometers of surface area to the sun's heat, the equivalent of a 23-kilometer wide nucleus. But Hubble's images show the object is no more than 5.6 kilometers in diameter. That is a 16 times mismatch, a discrepancy so enormous it collapses the natural explanation. A comet cannot generate more energy than it receives from the sun. A comet cannot lose more mass than its surface allows. 
and a comet cannot maintain structural integrity under such violent outgassing without fragmenting into dozens of pieces, unless it already had. This is where Loeb made the shocking conclusion that would ignite the scientific world. For the numbers to make sense, 3i Atlas must have fragmented into at least 16 pieces. 16 fragments, 16 times the surface area, mass loss finally explained. But the problem was far worse. Because if we do not see these fragments on December 19th, then the jets cannot be natural at all. They can only be produced by something engineered. Loeb didn't bury the lead. He didn't soften the message. He didn't try to protect his reputation. Instead, he delivered a clear, unambiguous warning. If on December 19th, 2025, 3i Atlas appears intact, we must consider that it is not a natural comet. Not might, not possibly, not there could be a chance, but must. Why? Because a natural body cannot violate thermodynamics. A natural body cannot break the sublimation limits by a factor of 16. A natural body cannot produce jets powerful enough to reshape a coma without showing cracks. But an engineered object, a spacecraft, a technological construct designed long before humanity existed. That is another story. Loeb explained that technological thrusters produce far higher exhaust velocities than natural outgassing, meaning they require significantly less mass loss to achieve the same effect. In other words, a machine could produce these jets without shredding itself, which brings us to the most controversial part of his warning. If 3i Atlas is still in one piece on December 19th, then the only explanation left is technology. The scientific world erupted. Loeb's statement didn't just cause disagreement, it caused open war. Within hours, leading astrophysicists fired back. Qicheng Zhang from Lowell Observatory. The comet looks normal and healthy, no sign of fragmentation. Brian Cox, University of Manchester. Let me be clear, 3i Atlas is natural, nothing unusual. David Jewett, UCLA. Loeb misinterprets the data, it is explainable. Chris Lintott, Oxford. Calling it artificial is an insult to planetary science. And then came the harshest criticism from J.W. of Penn State, accusing Loeb of misunderstanding basic planetary science and misleading the public. The attacks were relentless, reputation-destroying, personal, aggressive. But Loeb did not retreat. He responded with a statement that sliced straight to the core of scientific dogma. These critics are trained only on comets and asteroids. Add technological objects to their data set, and they will never confuse a rocket booster with an asteroid again. This wasn't arrogance. It was a warning the same kind given to every generation that has refused to see beyond the limits of its own expectations. And Loeb had history on his side. In 2019, when he said an interstellar meteor exploded over Papua New Guinea, government agencies mocked him until the U.S. officially confirmed he was right. Now, he was making his boldest prediction yet. While the scientific community argued, Loeb quietly published 10 anomalies, each one a red flag pointing toward an unnatural origin, non-gravitational acceleration, unusual color change, CO2-dominated sublimation, 3 million kilometer anticola mass loss levels incompatible with nucleus size, no fragmentation evidence despite violent jets, brightness evolution inconsistent with natural comets, acceleration inconsistent with solar heating, Possible jet patterns resembling thrusters' energy contradiction requiring 16 times more surface area. Each one alone is strange together, they are damning, and the scientific world knew it. No one wanted to admit it, but no one could explain it either. Which brings us to the one date that defines everything. The world now waits for one moment, the closest approach of 3i Atlas to Earth. On December 19th, 2025, the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope will be aligned, calibrated, and fully capable of resolving the structure of the object. If it is fragmented, the truth will be obvious. If it is intact, the implications are devastating. This is the date when calculations will collide with reality. This is the moment when the thermodynamic contradiction will face the sky. This is the crossroads of science, imagination, and cosmic humility. If we see fragments drifting behind the object, the natural explanation holds. If we don't, then the universe just whispered, you are not alone. As the world waits, 
telescopes stand ready. Observers refine the models. Simulations run day and night. Some scientists pray Loeb is wrong, others pray he's right. Most pray for answers. Meanwhile, 3 i Atlas drifts silently through space, glowing, accelerating, shedding mass, refusing to reveal its true nature. The debate grows louder, the stakes grow higher, and humanity stands in the same place it has stood a thousand times throughout history, on the edge of revelation, terrified to look down, more terrified to look up. The question is no longer whether Loeb is correct. The question is whether we are prepared for what it means if he is. This is where the story stops being scientific and becomes existential. If 3i Atlas is natural, we will breathe a collective sigh of relief. If it's not, if it remains whole on December 19th, if the jets behave like propulsion, if the mass loss defies the surface area, if the anomalies align, then the universe is telling us something profound, that technology older than Earth exists, that intelligence older than humans has crossed our sky that our solar system is not a closed box, and that we have entered a new chapter of cosmic understanding, a chapter that begins not with contact, but with a warning, a final warning, Loeb's warning. In the end, Avi Loeb didn't issue his final warning to frighten anyone. He issued it because the numbers left him no place to hide, because the data, cold, silent, unforgiving, had backed him into a corner where only two possibilities remained. Either the universe is behaving in a way we have never seen before, or 3i Atlas is not what we think it is. As the comet, or whatever it truly is, drifts toward its closest approach to Earth, the world stands suspended between dread and revelation. In observatories across the planet, scientists sit before arrays of glowing monitors, watching the object inch closer, pixel by pixel, photon by photon, waiting for the moment when Hubble and James Webb finally peel back the veil for months, they've argued. They've written papers, dismissed anomalies, defended dogma, ridiculed possibilities. But beneath it all, even the most conservative researchers feel the same quiet tremor running through them. What if Loeb is right? Because everything hinges on one truth, the truth Loeb laid bare, the truth no one has been able to refute. If 3i Atlas is still whole, the natural explanation dies. Comets don't violate thermodynamics. They don't eject more mass than their surface can sublimate. They don't fire collimated jets without fragmenting. They don't generate 3 million kilometer anticola from a nucleus too small to support them. They don't mimic the acceleration profile of Oumuamua. They don't survive stresses that should tear them apart. But engineered objects do. Designed systems do. Machines built with intents we cannot fathom do. And that is the fear lurking at the heart of Loeb's warning. Not that 3i Atlas is dangerous, or threatening, or even aware of us, but that its very existence forces us to confront the possibility that we are not the first, not the oldest, not the pioneers of the cosmic ocean. That someone else, some intelligence predating humanity by millions or billions of years, has already done what we are only beginning to imagine. And if that's true, then 3i Atlas is not a comet. It is not a rock. It is not an accident. It is a relic, a mechanism, an artifact, a silent messenger drifting through the stars long after its creators vanished, a machine older than our species, revealing just enough to challenge us, but not enough to explain itself. Maybe that's why Loeb's warning feels less like a prediction and more like a passing of responsibility, a reminder that every so often, the universe hands humanity a test, not of intelligence, but of humility. A test of whether we are willing to let go of our assumptions and face what is actually in front of us. And now, as December 19th approaches, humanity stands at a threshold. Either we will witness a cloud of fragments, the shattered remains of a natural comet pushed past its limits, or we will see something that should not be intact, should not be accelerating should not be shining with the cold, impossible resilience that has defined 3i Atlas from the start. If the fragments appear, science will breathe again. If they don't, if the nucleus stands unbroken, then Loeb's final warning will become something far more profound, our first real clue that the universe is not a silent wilderness, but a vast archive of civilizations that came before us. And perhaps 3i Atlas is simply the first page. If this journey left you thinking about what might truly be moving through our solar system, don't let that sense of wonder disappear. 
subscribe to the channel. The next images could rewrite the story of interstellar travel. Turn on notifications, because the December 19th data drop might be the most important astronomical update of our lifetime. And tell us in the comments, do you believe 3 I Atlas will break apart? Or will it stay whole and confirm the warning Avi Loeb has been trying to give the world?